this pandemic mm -mm, mm -mm, got me feeling all types of lonely. And so, instead of always complaining about how I'm so, so single, I decided I need to find a way to do it myself. So girls who do can sit. Yeah. No. Oh my God. God. I don't, I, that came out wrong. Like, that's not what, like, I do it with myself, but like, not like, do it with myself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay. You know what I meant by that. You know what I I saw this meme recently that was like, I don't even know my type because I don't even know what I like. I don't even know what I want. Like, do you? And so today I decided to take the love languages test. This test is going to help me figure out which one of the five languages out of words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time, and last, but certainly not least, physical touch. So which one of the five languages out of those five is, which one of the... It's mine. It's mine, okay? By the way, I'll have the link to the test down in the description so you guys can open your own tab and take the test along with me. We're all just a bunch of best friends in this channel. So, um, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, there's just like a, there's like a bug, okay. So I can either take the teens quiz or the single quiz, but um, right now I'm feeling a lot more single than I feel like a teenager, so we're gonna take a single quiz. Gender. I'm gonna go with female. Age. So I just turned 19 a few weeks ago and so for all of you that didn't wish me, sleep with one eye open, okay? So it's asking for my country, which is kind of sketchy because I think if you say from India, they're gonna like hop on a phone, call your parents and be like, yo, your daughter's getting a little bold, you know, you might wanna bring in that arranged marriage ASAP. But I'm just gonna, I don't know why they want my region, but like we're just, we're just gonna say India. I'm gonna stay true to my roots, straight true to my curry, yeah. First question. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love sends me a loving note slash text slash email for no special reason or I hug someone I love. Give it to me. Give me that text. Give it to me now. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Especially when you wake up to that text, like a morning text and you realize that they sent it to you at like 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm scared of physical interaction. So that hug can leave. Question number two. It's more meaningful to me when I spend alone time with someone I love, just us, someone I love does something practical to help me out. I mean, I'm not like a perfectionist or anything, but I feel like if I want things done, only I can do them. And like, even if someone else does it for me, and if they do it wrong, like I literally cannot hide the disappointment in my face. So I don't want to put anyone in that situation. So like, I just like to do my own things, you know, because like no one understands your vision. Okay, you just need to do your own things. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? And so that's why I like to do my own things. So I'm going to pick option number one. So we just spend some time together. Hey girl, I'm kind of busy. Do you mind making the mac and cheese for the party? No problem, girl, I got you. What's up, girl? So did you bring the mac and cheese? Oh my god, girl, of course I did. It's right over here in the back. Let me just get it for you. Question number three. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does something unexpected for me to help me with a project or I can share an innocent touch with someone I love. Ooh, what's an innocent touch? As opposed to what? A guilty touch? Mm. I'm getting a little hot in here. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm scared of physical interaction, so that hug can leave. Question number four. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love puts their arm around me in public or someone I love surprises me with a gift. Ew, in public? As in people, like other people are gonna see that shit? Ew, that's embarrassing. Ew, mm, no, don't put your arm around me. I can put my arm around myself. I remember one time like 2013, I went to Best Buy with my family because we needed to get my mom like a Blackberry. I know, I know, like a Blackberry in 2013, don't ask. But anyway, we were standing in line for 45 minutes because my dad was trying to help my mom set up, you know, her phone number and all that weird tech jazz. But anyway, I remember behind us in the line, there was this couple that was like hugging and kissing and making out like full on. And I don't know what was wrong with me, but I did like a 180 degree turn and literally stared at them for six minutes straight. like. My dad didn't notice at first, but then he saw me literally ogling at this couple. So he sent my mom to take me to the iPad section so I could play games there. But yeah, so when you're like a couple in public doing things, people like 2013 me, they're gonna stare and like that is just, no, I don't want any eyes on me. No, I'm very humble. Like I don't want that. 
Also, my mom's always making fun of my shoulders. She says they're so wide, like a fucking linebacker or something. So like if your arm doesn't go all the way around my shoulder, you gonna embarrass a bitch. Like, no, don't do that. Like if your hand just only reaches still here, people like, it's, no, it's embarrassing. I'm gonna take that gift. I'm not materialistic, just give me the gift. Give it to me now. It's more meaningful to me when I receive a gift from someone I love or I hear from someone I love that they love me. Okay. Bruh, like, once again, I am going to choose a gift, but listen up, listen up, okay, I'm not materialistic, listen up, like, listen up, let me explain, boo. I am obviously okay with someone telling me that they love me because, uh, hello, how can they not love me? But then it's kind of sort of social protocol that you're expected to say I love you back. And, like, I don't know why it is so hard for me to say I love you back to people, like, people that I like, like, people like people that are close to me like if there's a stranger walking down the street i would literally be like i love you but like if there's like i don't know my dad will be like good night i love you i'll be like night illy like I, I just can't say it it's just so awkward like what is wrong with me question number uh whatever it doesn't really matter at this point it's more meaningful to me when i hear someone i love tell me i'm proud of you or someone i love helps me with a task and that's on having Asian parents who never say that to you. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love does things for me instead of just talking about doing nice things. Wow, that sounds really personal. Who made this quiz? I think the person who made this quiz is definitely calling someone in their life out. Okay, so I did some light stalking and I found out that this quiz was made by a guy named Gary Chapman. Aw, look at him faking his smile. My boy Gary deserves better. Okay, so this is the pick of the missus. Honestly, look at her evil ass smiling eye to eye. Cause she knows she fit a lion when she tell Gary, I'ma do nice things for you. Cause she knows she's not gonna do that. Quick disclaimer, I'm just kidding. I'm sure she's a lovely woman. 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 Or I feel connected to someone I love through a hug. Also, I'm scared of physical interaction. So that hug can leave. Next question. It's more meaningful to me when I hear praise from someone I love or someone I love gives me something that shows they were really thinking about me. Uh -huh. Bro, no question about this one. Ah, you're thinking about me, you're thinking about me. That's cute, that's cute. I wanna be all up in your mind. She's running through my mind all day. Shardy's like a melody in my head It's more meaningful to me when I'm able to just be around someone I love Or I get a back rub from someone I love A back rub? Maybe I'll start to appreciate that a little more as I get older But like right now it just sounds weird Like I, I, can, I can reach my back y'all I can, I, can, I can give myself the rub It's more meaningful to me when someone I love reacts positively to something I've accomplished versus someone I love does something for me that I know they don't particularly enjoy. See, I, I want to pick the second option because that's so cute, but it's like the missing Asian parent validation growing up, like regarding my accomplishments, that's just pushing me over the edge. And now I just got to pick the first, I got to pick the first option because I need appreciation validation for my accomplishments. Have you feel that way? I just want to be appreciated. It's more meaningful to me when I'm complimented by someone I love on my appearance. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh my god. No. Versus someone I love takes the time to listen to me and really understand my feelings. It's more meaningful to me when someone I love says something encouraging to me versus I get to spend time in a shared activity or a hobby with someone I love. Okay, so while it does sound nice to have someone encourage you, um, I think I can do that for myself. You know, what else do you think Megan the Stallion makes music for? That's for me to literally, you know, mm, bust. Like I, I can, like me to feel myself. Like that's what it's for. I'd rather be a B I T C H. Cause that's what you gon' call me when I'm tripping anyway But option two here, ooh, what kind of shared activities are we talking about, you know? 
Because honestly, I'm down. I'm down for whatever you want to do. You want to go extreme couponing. You want to argue with people on the internet, witchcraft. You want to go like streaking or skinny dipping or streaking and skinny dipping or skinny dipping and then streaking. Archimedes type beat. You know what I mean? Um, or we can just eat and then we can play Wii Sports so then it can tell me I'm fucking obese. Anything for you, baby. Okay, honey bun. So I think that was most of the questions. I kind of skipped a few questions because they were getting kind of similar, but I did most of them. Okay, so let's see what these results are cooking up. So my highest percentage was quality time, which means it is my main love language. And I can honestly say that this is true because I value experiences over everything. So yeah, literally hang out with me for like an hour and I'll fall in love with you. Like guaranteed, I probably will. Or at least I'll think about it. Like I, it's, it's bound to happen. I'm falling again, I'm falling again, I'm falling. You know what, it, pro it actually doesn't even take an hour. Like you could like, you could be sitting on the swing next to me at the park and like we could swing together for like five minutes, be complete strangers. I'm already in love with you. We're married and I've made up the stories in my head, okay? Like I don't care. Like next we've got 3% physical touch. Uh, that kind of probably tells you a lot about me. We're not gonna talk anymore about it. Move it on. Next we got 17% acts of services. I think that's like a good amount where it's like, I'm not straight up making you my peasant or something, okay? 17% is less than a fifth. So I think it's okay for you to do 17% of service towards me if we are in love. Okay, and then we got 20% receiving gifts. Okay, look, I'm not, that, that, that's a little concerning. Cause like, I just, I don't care about gifts, okay? I literally do not care about gifts. Like I stopped getting gifts for my birthday a long time ago. My parents stopped loving me a long time ago. So if you give me something and you tell me it's a gift, I will absolutely love it no matter what it is. And last love language we've got at a pretty high percentage, 27% words of affirmation. And that's on being a Libra who needs reassurance. See, deep down, I already know things about me. I just need you to say it to me for me to accept it. Like deep down, like, girl, don't get it twisted. Like I know, I know who I am, but like I, I, I just need you to know who I am. And I need you to tell me that you know who I am. Like does that make sense? Like, you know. But yeah, honey. But if you watch till here, um, thank you so much for watching. But also, um, uh, marry me. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm, you're literally in love with me. I mean, why else would you watch till the end? You watch till the end so you could get to know me, so you could know all about my personality, so you could find a way to make me fall in love with you because you know what I, you know what I like, you know what I need, you know my acts of, my love languages. So don't be shy, confess, take my hand in marriage, take it, take it, take it. I said take it, why aren't you taking it? Take it. That's it for today. I'ma retire to the kitchen and eat something and my mom will start crying because I will not stop eating. I love you, have a good day, bye.